This video is about how to install the Anaconda package into Ubuntu. So what is Anaconda? Anaconda is a thoroughly integrated data science and machine learning distribution for working in the Python and R programming languages. With Anaconda, you can begin working on data science projects quickly because the Conda package manager underlying Anaconda determines how to install dependencies and warns if there is a dependency issue. Anaconda's aim is to simplify creating and maintaining a data science-based working environment. The Anaconda distribution contains over 250 data science and programming packages to help you get started. It also comes with the Conda package manager that is additionally used to create virtual environments. You also have access to 7,500 additional open source packages from the Anaconda repository. Outcomes are what you should be able to do after watching the video. Download and install Anaconda. Configure Anaconda to not start automatically when you open the terminal. And activate and deactivate the Conda base virtual environment. Requirements for Anaconda? An Ubuntu 22.04 computer with GNOME or KDE desktop. Random access memory, 8 gigabytes total system with 4 gigabytes free. A multi-core CPU. And a minimum would be any modern CPU. Storage, 5 gigabytes free and it prefers an SSD. And then there's a minimum 2.5 gigabytes with 1 gigabyte for catches, but I probably wouldn't want to try that. A monitor 1920 by 1080, and then the minimum would be 1024 by 768 pixels. Additional info. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. Here I am at www.anaconda.com. I'm going to download the Anaconda distribution. It says for Linux. In my case, it would be an Ubuntu machine. Now, in the best of possible world, this download will work immediately. But if it doesn't say for Linux here, you can go click on this little penguin here. That will take you to a site with a number of different Linux installers. So anyway, just click download since I'm all set. And a minute or two up here at the top right, you'll see that the Anaconda distribution has been downloaded. I'll come back when it's fully downloaded. So now that it's fully downloaded, I'm going to verify the checksum. In order to verify the checksum, I'm going to have to go to a different page. And in this case, I'm going to paste it in. It's docsanaconda.com anaconda install hashes. Hit enter. And in my case, I've got 64-bit Linux, which was to download. Click on that. And you'll notice it's got a number of different versions. So I'm going to open up my file section, go to the download section. Well, let me go to, I've got Linux x86 underscore dash 64. So let me go back to the web page and it would be this one, Linux x86 underscore 64, open that page. And I want to get the SHA-256 sum. So basically, I'm just going to copy it. Now, the next thing I need to do is open up a terminal. Control-Alt-T. And I'm going to change the color of the terminal to white, simply because it's easier to view on YouTube. You don't have to change yours. And I'm going to go down to Preferences. Make the theme variant light. Go to unnamed. Go to colors. Uncheck use colors from system theme. Click on gloom light. And just close this. And there I am. I'm going to echo. 
quotation marks, right click, paste, and I'm going to go with space. Now I need to get that file name. So the easiest way I found to get the file name is do another Control Alt T or come right here and it says Terminal, New Window, and I do a CD down loads because that's the directory where the file is, is located. Once I'm there, I'm doing ls, then do a right click, copy, then I can close this. Now, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to go to the downloads directory, but I will do this after I get this whole command in here. Paste, quotation mark, whoops, let me go back to quotation marks, then the pipe, and then SHA256 sum dash C. Now this will not work because I'm not in the downloads directory and can't find the file. But I'm going to hit enter anyway. And of course it says the file's not there. So I'm going to go CD downloads. And there I am. Then I'm going to hit the up arrow. And there's my command. And it's either going to say OK or failed. It says OK. So the download is not corrupted. So now I need to run the file to install it. So I do an SH, type in A for Anaconda, hit Tab, and hit Enter. And in order to continue the installation process, please review the license agreement. I'm going to hit Enter. And with that more, you can hit Space and Enter. Keep going down. And it says, do you accept the license terms? Type in YES for yes. And ask where you want to install it. For Ubuntu, I like to accept the uh, default installation place. Hit enter for home mic Anaconda 3 directory. It's going to take a few minutes to install. I believe it takes about five minutes to install. Don't worry if you don't see anything happening. It's going to take a while to unpack the payload. And it says, do you wish the installer to initialize Anaconda 3 by running Conda init? And I'm just going to type in Y. I believe we'll do it. Hit Enter. OK, now that Anaconda has been installed, I need to point out this one setting right here. It says, if you prefer that Conda's base environment not be activated on startup, set the auto activate base parameter to false. Basically, every time you open up a terminal currently, it will set it to true. Now, to take a look at this, we just go to the terminal here, right click, new window, and you'll see right there it says base. And so this is actually an Anaconda environment or Anaconda environment. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go CD to the home directory and what I'm going to do is run the .bash rc file, .bash rc, and so that's going to update everything here in this terminal. Enter this terminal, and you'll see right here it's been updated. It's running base now, which is the virtual environment for Anaconda. So now I'm going to copy this, conda config, set auto activate base false, right click, copy. Put it right here, paste, and hit enter. So now the setting is made. So now that when I go to terminal, new window, it doesn't say base anymore. So if I want to deactivate the base, I say conda deactivate, and you'll see the base is gone. And if I want to activate the base, I say Conda activate. And so now the base is set up. And so that's pretty much it on how you install Anaconda into Ubuntu 22.04. In the next sections, we're going to start Jupyter Notebook and play around with that a little bit. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, 
please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.